Hi Leo and welcome to your mid-March tarot reading. Before I start with your reading, I would like to use the first two minutes of this video to cleanse this space. If you don't want this, you just jump ahead two minutes. If you feel like you need some energy cleansing as well, I invite you to take a deep breath into your belly. Feel the energy moving into your body. And when you breathe out, you release all negative energy and tension. This is a reading if your sun, moon, rising and or Venus sign is Leo. Welcome. Look at that. <laughs> That's your card. Um, I was just about to say welcome to all the naughty cross watchers here who are interested in Leo. Leo, you are closing a cycle. Wow. Maybe it has already closed. Maybe you are about to close it. Uh, for some of you, you might go traveling, relocating. Interesting. Let's go dive deeper into your reading. What are the energies for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And we start again. How is that possible? <laughs> we start with your card. Um, strength. And that's a traveling card. However, there are some challenges. Uh, for some of you, this might also connect to something different than uh, traveling. We're going to go and uh, look deeper into that in a second. You are thinking about the Hierophant. You have the Ten of Cups on the emotional side of things. Uh, in the past, the Ace of Cups in the near future. We have the Seven of Cups. Your energy is the Star card. Then there is Justice, the Lovers, and the Ace of Swords. Uh, the Prince of Cups is the energy of the advice at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. I want to put one more card. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's dive into your reading. So it, uh, in the past energies, we have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups talks about some sort of new beginning. The chance and opportunity that has been given to you that potentially could make you really, really happy or fulfill you. It might be also a new beginning in love where there is a potential that this might be the love of your life. Now, with the Ace of Cups being this beautiful, joyful, new beginning, this beautiful energy. It could also talk about emotional healing. So some sort of emotional blockage might have been just recently released and you feel back into the flow again, which would uh, explain why we do have your energy here again. Now, usually it's quite nice if you have a reading where your own energy comes through with a major arcana card, which is why um, to a big, um, a big part, I can say that you feel more like yourself again. You are in your power, you are in your strength, you are showing up at the middle of the reading here. 
with having had a an emotional new beginning in some shape or form, something that made you happy, um, might connect to your relationship or connect literally to you being back into the flow, having released some sort of emotional blockages. Um, however, the other meaning of this card talks about challenges that are um, presenting uh, themselves to you basically and you needing to be strong so what does it mean maybe at the moment there's some sort of situation where you need to be courageous and take the first step or the next step whatever that might be for you um, it might be uh, with a strength card about being patient now the situation might not move as quick as you like to which the three of uh, ones would explain the same thing the three of ones in this position means there might be some delays so maybe that is your biggest challenge that something is not moving forward there might be challenges in developing a situation or moving forward or there are literally some sort of delays and you need to be patient and learn uh, strength basically like that um, also, it could mean staying cool in a situation that would trigger you usually, um, something where you feel uneasy, control your emotions would um, be another part of that uh, kite and of that meaning. Now with the three of wands, like I said already, there's the three of wands is a beautiful card. It's a card of development, of expansion, uh, of growth. So that could be spiritual growth, that could be personal growth, it could talk about a situation in your life, your business is growing, the relationship is growing, um, whatever it is, it's a beautiful card for growth, new experiences and expansion. However, that's in the blocked position. So sometimes that can mean is literally blocked. Those energies I just talked about, they are blocked, which is why we have the strength card here, right? On the other hand, it could also talk about that this is an energy that is very challenging. Some sort of growth in your life could at the moment be very challenging. So you're focusing on the Hierophant, while the Hierophant um, can talk about your belief system. What do you believe in? What are your beliefs? So maybe you are really focusing um, Okay, beliefs and values I get. So that might be something you're really looking at. What are your beliefs? What are your values? What are the values you want to live by? Mm, on the other hand, obviously, this is a very spiritual card. There might be a spiritual teacher, um, somebody like a mentor at the moment who's helping you. So you could be focused on that. Maybe you yourself are a spiritual teacher or a mentor and you're focusing on that if that is your business, basically. Um, another meaning could mean uh, could be with a hierophant that there are a lot of signs at the moment, a lot of synchronicities, and you're just noticing that the synchronicities and the signs are picking up again. Um, I do feel like this op often happens when we are uh, on the right path in alignment with our path, and it's quite interesting because you have the star card here, and that talks about you being on the right path. It talks about other things as well. Gonna get there in a second. So um, there might also be some sort of marriage. Um, Hierophant can talk about a marriage, a long-term commitment and traditional commitment uh, or some sort of contract. I sometimes like to expand that because the Hierophant is like, um, Oh my God, I have never said that in English, I think. So I'm just, I always say that in German. Uh, the Hierophant is um, about the union of, uh, of a couple for, for a marriage, right? So I sometimes like to expand that, saying that there might be a specific contract at the moment that plays a role for you. Maybe you're waiting for that. How do you feel? Ten of pentacles. You feel very stable and secure. Ten of, there, there is not, not more pentacles that you can get here. So the ten of pentacles, stable, secure, focusing on long-term plans, on long-term success, on making things work uh, for the long-term. Um, we have two cards that talk about traditions as well. So again, I get the sense that some sort of tradition or may maybe family tradition um, and again, the values, your beliefs, that seems to be at the moment very important to you here. But then again, there is this challenge when it comes to the expansion, new experiences and growth. There might also be some sort of experience that you're going through at the moment that is quite challenging here and you are being confronted with these are my values, this is what I want to uh, focus my energy now towards and this is what I want to do long term. 
Um, let me feel more into that. One second, let's pull those cards up here. Mm, it's important, I'm being drawn to this card now, uh, it's important that you follow your heart, that you follow your intuition in this situation. The Prince of Cups is taking inspired action in that sense that he feels that when he is taking action now, he's going to be happy, he's going to be fulfilled, or there might be a lot of love and a lot of beautiful emotional experiences. So in the essence, it says, take action, follow your heart, follow your intuition. In the near future, and I feel like this is now connected, which is why I was drawn to that first, uh, the Seven of Cups here. So Seven of Cups A can talk about you um, making, you're judging a situation again. Is Am I on the path of happiness, success? Is this really going to be the thing that makes me happy, that is going to fulfill me? So there's a bit of a re-evaluation process going on in the near future uh, connected to if that situation is truly what you want on the emotional side of things. Um, on the other hand, there might be a situation where there's some confusion connected to feelings. Maybe you're confused about what another person feels. Maybe you are a little bit confused about what you feel. Though, however, I have to say, with something that you feel you're quite persistent and consistent here um with the ten of uh, pentacles being just like an energy of something connected to the emotions it's like it has been there for a long time it's a long-term energy hmm. so Maybe there's a situation in your life where for a long time you feel a certain feeling connected to that situation. Hmm. Moving again to the Seven of Cups here. So the confusion about feelings, um, if that is the case, I feel like it's more connected to somebody else, somebody else's feeling like, oh, what does blah, blah, blah feels. Um, on the other hand, there could be a choice that you need to make. So maybe options are opening up now and you need to really consider what your priorities are. Again, what are your values? How am I deciding upon this choice? Maybe there are different options, um, different offers. And then again, follow your heart, follow your intuition to make that choice and to be on a specific path. And it's quite interesting because you have the star card here. Now the star card tells me you are on the right path when you follow your intuition here. Uh, there is new hope for the future. Something is shifting in your energy right now from focusing on the past, from focusing on maybe crisis moments, shocking moments or challenging moments from the past. It feels like you're now focusing towards the future. There is new hope, there is new optimism when it comes to the future. So I feel like you've just overcome a difficult situation, which is why in the recent past we have the Ace of Cups overcoming emotional challenges, a new beginning, you're feeling lighter again, maybe having worked through a difficult time and now things are flowing again, you feel lighter, you feel more joyful and I can see this with the star card in this position. Outside of you there is justice, so a situation, uh, there might be a, a choice, somebody outside of you, maybe another person has made a choice Mm, or there is something connected to actually the word I just heard was time. Somehow time plays a part, which is interesting because we have the Ten of Cups here, uh, Ten of, not Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. And I said something is long term, right? And I just heard the word time. There's something connected to karma, to justice, to a balance that is being restored. It might be a karmic situation that you're in, something where you learned quite a lot and now a balance has been restored. Something might have taken some time. I tell you, this is, <clears throat> this is what I'm getting with this card. Something is here for a long time. Something has taken time. Mm. Maybe somebody has made a choice. If this is a person, it could be a Libra. Um, lo looking at the... the the uh, major arcana cards, we have Leo, Taurus, Libra and Aquarius and Gemini here. So with justice, if this is another person, another person here wants to do the right thing. 
this person might be fair, might be also judging a situation, wanting to make a choice, maybe making a choice, but thinking that this is the right choice for everybody involved. And then we have another choice here, but this is what you're hoping for. Maybe you hope that you're making the right choice for yourself, or you hope that if this is another person, that this person is making a choice from the heart or says yes to a relationship. Mm. While the lovers is the card of the choice of the heart and you're hoping for making the right choice for your heart, which again, there is the line here, right? And that's what I said here. Follow your heart, follow your intuition when it comes to that choice, to the options, to maybe offers. And maybe you just hope that a relationship is getting closer again or that there's harmony within a relationship. And then you will receive clarity. This is why I uh, basically pulled two more cards. While the Ace of Swords, you're moving towards a breakthrough. And one thing that we can see, here are clouds and here are the clouds on the side. So something is gonna come towards you where you are being confronted with an energy of confusion in some shape or form. You do not know A, what choice to make, what you feel, how a situation is going to evolve and continue. However, this talks about you know now. The, um, the ace is pushing all the clouds to the side and you can see clearly that might be because of a conversation or some sort of message coming in, some sort of information coming towards you or you just gain clarity because you just know suddenly. The, the fog is lifting, you can see clearly, you know what to do now, you can see you have a strategy um, to a or a solution, a strategy and solution, strategy and solution to an issue here. While this is already all good, I felt like I want to have more information connected to that clarity. And there's a seven of swords, a seven of wands and the six of uh, pentacles. Now with a seven of wands, you might get clear about a situation where somebody is very defensive. Maybe somebody is very defensive here and uh, doesn't want to talk. Um, On the other hand, it might be that you get clear about what it is that you want and you get clear about the fact that you need to stand up for yourself or for the thing that you want. And the next card is a six of pentacles, which talks about a, a balance again. We have that twice here. It's interesting because there are a couple of things that are coming through. Balance. Balance is one. Mm following your heart, following your intuition and something long-term, time, time played a role here, very much so. And your, um, your values and your beliefs are very important here. So with the Six of Pentacles, it's about opening yourself up to receiving. Some sort of balance is being restored, mm, but it could also mean that you're moving into this energy where you are opening yourself up to abundance, where you're overcoming some sort of lack. Maybe because somebody is giving you something, but you need to be ready to receive. If you're not ready to receive, it doesn't matter because it's not, you're not taking it on, it's not getting to you. So I feel like there's a very important shift happening in your life in the near future where you're opening yourself to receive, and where you probably are going to receive something, maybe even receiving some help in some shape or form. So what's quite interesting is that we do have the underlying energy of the Queen of Swords, and that is communication that is going to help. Like I said, you are going to receive help. Maybe you're going to receive some sort of information that is giving you the clarity. The Queen of Swords can be that energy where you have some sort of message coming in, communication coming in, talking to a friend, uh, a colleague, whoever that is. And through that conversation, you will gain clarity this queen wants to help you. It's, it's help, it's support, but it's help and support through conversation. And where is it leading? This is supporting you in that sense that you will see something clearly or you will get clear about a situation, which is in the end what you are moving towards. 
All right, Leo, this is your mid-March tarot reading. I hope you resonate with the messages. If so, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel. And I'm looking forward to do your next reading.